Playground AI just released their own canvas editor. You can access the canvas editor by going to playgroundai.com. Once you are on the website, just click on create. Now instead of one option, there are two options right here. This option is the previous image editor as you all know. For those of you who don't know, just click the link in the description to watch a tutorial on this editor. Now let's explore the canvas editor. It looks just like Leonardo AI's AI canvas. So you can hover on the bounding box and drag in order to increase decrease the size. You can import images from this option right here. You can click on move select in order to select different images and move them around. Hand tool in order to move the whole canvas around. Go back to that generating image option by clicking on this. You can erase an image by clicking on this and then erasing the image. Now let's get into how to actually start generating some images. The first thing that I'm going to do in order to generate an image is import one image from playground AI's trending section and let's select one image from this section. Let's export this image into the canvas. So in order to export the image, click on the image and then copy the link of this image from right here. Open this section of the playground website in a new tab and canvas editor in a separate tab. Now just copy the link from right here. Go back to the canvas. Click on import image from playground and then paste the link of that image in this. Once our image is imported into canvas, just drag this bounding box onto the image in order to outpaint the image. And then go back to the image, copy the prompt of the image, go back to canvas editor and paste the prompt right here. And then click on generate. And the canvas has successfully outpainted the image. We can do the same thing on the other side. As you can see, it is exactly similar to Leonardo.ai's canvas editor. But it is in its beta version, means there are not many features yet added in it. It has a lot of work still. And this is how our image was generated. We can also do the same thing. Now, in order to see a bigger view of the image, click on this subtract button right here. Then go to hand tool and we can shift the whole canvas upwards. Go back to generate image and we can drag the bounding box onto the image right here. Click on generate. As you can see, the image is coming out pretty good and the outpainting is exact because of the exact prompt input. So just do the exact same thing right here and click on generate. And you can keep outpainting the image as much as you want. Now this makes the outpainting a bit easier than Leonardo.ai. The only thing that is lacking is the image quality of playground.ai. For that you can also import your own images and then try to generate something completely new in this canvas editor as well. As you can see, you can expand the image as much as you want. Now let's try some other image. The second way that you can edit images in this AI canvas is by generating images right here. So to generate image, just put in a prompt in this section, write a prompt and then you can write a negative prompt also in order to generate a good quality image. So this was the prompt that I put in. This was the negative prompt and then I clicked on generate and I got this image right here. And it looks like a quite impressive image. Now let's try to outpaint this image. So do the same thing. Grab the bounding box and place it on the other side of the image and click on generate. And as you can see, the precision is on point. I mean, just look at the details in the image. It was exactly, it exactly copied the image style and you can extend the you can expand the image as much as you want and create something completely different. Now do the same thing. I'm going to try to expand it as much as I can. So I subtracted the size and then I'm going to place the bounding box right here. Let's see how much we can actually generate. And place the box again. 
generate and as you can see the details in the image remain same as of the previous original image one thing in this ai canvas that is different from the leonardo ai canvas is that it has a lot of detail but one reason for the detail also can be because we pasted the exact same prompt now one thing that we are going to try is adding some river or a castle in the middle of the town so in order to do that just click on this erase section just click on this erase option and then erase a part of the image that you want to change so I've raised this part and then go back to the generate image option, place the bounding box on top of this erased part and change your prompt a bit. So I'm going to add a massive castle in western town and let's see, let's see what it generates. I hope it generates what I'm thinking of. Now it is not completely visible, but if you carefully look at the image, it has added something. It has not exactly added a castle, but it has added a big structure, a structure that is bigger than the other ones. So in order to get something that is closer to what you want, you need to change the prompt a bit more. I've changed the prompt a bit and let's see what it generates now. So as you can see in the image, it added a massive castle in the middle of the town and this is the way you can edit images in this canvas your image quality and your image output depends upon the prompt that you put in if you think that you cannot generate good looking images in this canvas editor because of the quality of playground.ai you can do one thing you can go to leonardo.ai and you can copy some prompts from there you can copy the original prompt and also the negative prompt and generate some images You'll be surprised by the quality of images that you get. One expected thing you can do in this canvas is that you can save the project file in your computer and then reopen the project file in the same place. You can go right here and click on file and click on import project file. And you can save the project file. And then once you've saved the file, you can also reopen the file and you will get to the same place where you left the project. The last way that you can import images into this canvas is by clicking on import image and then you can import images from computer. But this has some missing elements to it. For example, I am importing this image into this canvas. Now I'm not able to find a way to decrease the size of this image. So if I go and try to expand the image, there is no way I can expand the image one by one, piece by piece, you know, because it's not efficient. It's wasting a lot of time. So these are the small things that are missing in this canvas. All we can do is wait for new features. And I'm sure within a month or two or maybe weeks, they are going to come up with some more features in order to keep up with leonardo.ai as you all know leonardo.ai has just come up with a paid version of their software and they have decreased the token limit from 250 to 150 so this is a competitor that more and more people are going to use now now let's try editing this image so the first thing i'm going to do is outpaint this image so to outpaint it you already know what to do just place the bounding box, go back to where you picked the image from and then copy the whole prompt, paste the prompt right here, copy the negative prompt as well and then let's click on generate and again in order to complete the image, I'm going to do the same thing. Let's try something a bit more challenging. So I'm going to import the same image twice, place it right here. And then I'm going to fill in, I mean outpaint the area which is in between these two images. And let's see what kind of an output does it come up with. In leonardo.ai, I've tried the same thing and the output looks pretty good. So click on generate. 
and if you look at the generation it seems to be working pretty well so now we can also do something like erase this part of the image in order to change the look so go back to generate and then just place your bounding box right here and let's generate and the image now looks completely different so these are some of the experiments that you can do with images in order to get the best output. I'll be covering playground canvas in my next videos. So stay tuned for it. And this was it for the video.